Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a brush review video on my three basic brush kit by Real Techniques. So this is what the three main makeup brushes look like. And the kit and packaging itself I think is very efficient. So the kit is just, it really does look like a wallet and it's just so small and it's lightweight. So you could obviously put this in your go-to handbag and if you're traveling this will fit perfectly in your suitcase. So when you open it up, just going to attach in the back. As I showed you, this is um, where the brushes are. The elastic to hold the brushes are really sturdy, actually. I mean, if you drop it or if you, you know, shake it, you know, whatever, the elastic won't come off. So it does hold the brushes pretty well. And if you do want to lay it down on a flat surface, you know, obviously it can do that. But also, it acts as a stand, too. So you can go like that on a flat surface. It says on here, bend case and tighten toggle to create stand. So this is the toggle. So there we go. <laughs> Couldn't get it from, could I get it at first. So it basically looks like that. So you're just gonna tighten this. And it's just really cute, I think, this idea. So now I'm going to go into more detail about the brushes. So um, with the kit itself, again, the packaging, I think it's very efficient. It's um, a smart idea what they did. Um, I really do like that idea with the stands and the elastic, again, so is just very I'm sad. going to start off with my multitask brush. So this is what this brush looks like. Um, you can use this for your powder, your bronzer. I would I wouldn't really do it for contouring. I don't think they mentioned that on the um the actual the actual plastic, you know, because I threw that out like the actual packaging for it. But um, I know they did say bronzer, so again, I do apply bronzer with this brush, with this brush, and again, blush, any powder type of um, substance, I would apply with this brush. These their brushes are incredibly soft, and they apply product very well. And I think these are one of the softest brushes you will ever get, and you will ever feel. So there's just. It's just, they're just like really, really soft. I can't even explain it. You're going to have to try it for yourself. But I do put um, bronzer on with this brush and powder I do too. So this is the multitask brush. Next is the foundation brush, essential foundation brush it says. So this is what this brush looks like. So, it kind of, um, very pointy at the top, you know, it's not a, you know, brush like this. I do use this for foundation, I mean, obviously. I did try contouring with this brush, only because it's more of an angle to it, and it's much thinner on an angle, so I would, I mean, I would actually do nose con contouring with this maybe sculpting sculpting up your out your face um, for bronzer with this if you don't have a regular contour brush so um, this is very good for that um, yeah so I really do use this for my foundation I just pump like two um, pumps on my hand of foundation and I basically just grab a little because this brush does absorb the foundation very well and it applies it to the face so it doesn't really suck up all of it 
and it applies very um, an even amount of foundation on your face. So I would just start with my lower half and then I blend it with my blending sponge. Then I just move all around. It's just very soft too um, for your face and just the material is just great. Um, a lot of people have troubles fi have a trouble finding a brush where you know like their the hairs of the brush don't constantly fall out. I've never really seen these br these brushes hairs fall out, so I think they do a very good job with that. So again, this is the essential foundation brush, and a lot of people again with foundation brushes specifically they. Um, you know, they don't want to spend a whole lot of time with their foundation and using a small brush because this is quite small, in my opinion, too. It is, you know, it doesn't take like, you know, like 20 seconds to put on your foundation, you know. And a lot of people want that easy route. They don't want to spend a lot of time with their foundation. You know, it gets kind of frustrating sometimes. So if you're kind of looking for a big brush, this wouldn't be for you. But um, this does, you know, put an even amount of foundation on your skin. It does move with you. It's very quick um, type of brush and I really do like this foundation brush. And a kabuki brush. I don't have one at the moment but I'm, I want to look um, in some really good type of kabuki brushes. I know MAC and Sigma and actually Real Techniques kabuki brush. I know a lot of people have them and they you know have very good reviews about them so yeah. <laughs> and lastly is my domed eyeshadow brush. Um, this brush is just incredibly soft too. With an eyeshadow brush, this is not very small compared to um, like I mean, look at the size of brush. Look at the brush size difference. It's, you know, much smaller than this. I wouldn't recommend this for, you know, very detailed technique type of work. That's why they have technique brushes. This is, um, I really wouldn't consider this as a technique brush because it's very, it's big compared to other type of eyeshadow brushes. So this really won't get all your specific needs for your eyeshadow done, but I usually use this for my outer corner and I work my way in this is like you know for that because I can't do everything with my eye with this brush because it's just too big so again I just do my outer corner and I work my way in because it's big enough and small enough at the same time for um, my outer corner eyeshadow and again I would recommend uh, that's what I do. I do my outer corner, and, and if you're just looking to apply just one color to your eyelid, this would be perfect too. I mean, it's not like you're you want to get all three sets of a full makeup look. You just want to get one eyeshadow over the whole lid. This is good for that too, and this does absorb a lot of product. Um, uh, yeah, I do really recommend this too. And again, all these brushes, their hairs don't fall out. I mean, it's just really good to find a brush that their hairs just don't fall out because it is very aggravating and does, again, absorb the product very well and it um, applies an even amount on both eyes. So I totally recommend this brush too. This kit was, I want to say $17.00. For the whole thing it might have been more that might have might have been a sale or something because I do know that my friend has a four brush kit from real techniques and it was thirty dollars so I think it just all depends of how good the quality um your the products are or how much of they of, of um, products there are so yeah so I totally do recommend these brushes for anybody with any type of skin type um, so basically anybody. They're very good quality and very affordable and just you should really go check out Real Techniques. So hope you guys enjoyed and um, stay tuned for the next video.